friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some really fun hacks and DIYs using candles that you can find out at the Dollar Tree. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button and let's get started. I love these huge jars so I grabbed one of those and then the secret here is to grab these little resin pieces. They're actually just little like beads and filler but um, they were like in the resin section in the Dollar Tree Plus section but we're going to use it for this. They had some cute little snowflakes as well as some blue little beads so I just pulled out the blue ones in there. If you don't have this you could just find some mini beads or just cut up like some really thin like little confetti to put at the bottom but I don't have any intentions on really like burning this down to the bottom. I'm just making it for decor purposes to be really cute as well as all of the candles in this video. I don't plan to just burn them because these are like unscented candles from the Dollar Tree so I'm just happy to fix them up, make them cute, and display them for decor purposes. But I do put a layer of Mod Podge around the edges and then start sprinkling on these little pieces so they are going to look like little sprinkles down inside of this jar. Now if I had this to do over again I think I would use the clear Elmer's glue for my adhesive rather than the Mod Podge because I feel like I or did get it too thick but I feel like it dries a little bit milky colored and it just took extra long to dry and get it as clear as possible. But you can see a little bit of the white pulled up down at the bottom but it still stuck really nicely even if it dries and there's not enough sprinkles you could go over it with another coat and add a few more to the bare spots but I let that completely dry before melting down my tall candles. I do pick these candles up at Dollar Tree like I said they are unscented if you did want to burn like the safe one that don't have like the sprinkles or ribbons around them you could add in some essential oils to make it smell a little bit better but I melt these down just by sticking them in a pot of water on my stove top at medium heat and just let these take their time and warm up and melt down it does take about three candles to fill up one of these jars and this is like the smaller jar from that canister set that Dollar Tree has out but um, it still is a really great size and then like I mentioned I'm I do like these up just to look look really cute for this video but I don't plan on leaving this unattended or burning by itself especially down to the bottom so I didn't care to just add a little ribbon to the top and just made this really cute this will go on into winter and work perfect on into January even after the Christmas season Now Dollar Tree has out little penguin molds and different Christmas molds that you can pick up but I was dying for a little gingerbread man so I found these on Amazon and I am pairing it with some just gingerbread man colored wax. Now I had to get this at Walmart. They do have it out at Dollar Tree sometimes but I just really wanted to make sure the color was perfect so I did go to Walmart and find this little melter wax. I did melt it down in the microwave in just a glass teacup, pour it into the solo cup just so it would pour easier and these are the cutest things. I am going to be adding these little gingerbread men to the top of some really cute candles later on in this video, but for now I just wanted to share with you how you can easily make this a DIY gift idea for Christmas. All you have to do is put some of these in a little treat bag and you could gift this actually with a candle warmer from Walmart, an inexpensive one, but this would be a really cute gift. I just love how it looks with the little gingerbread men in there. Next up, grab a couple of these dessert mugs. These make the absolute best little candles and they're so adorable. So taking some more of that same gingerbread wax, this is the teacup that I was melting it down in and I just put it in for a minute and then check it out in the microwave, stir it up a little bit and then add 30 second intervals until it's completely melted. Put it back in the solo cup just because you can squeeze the cup and it's easier to pour. I did one this gingerbread color and then did a red candle. You will see for each of these projects, I just take the wick out of the candle that I'm melting down, place it in the center of the 
whatever I'm pouring it into of the container and then just kind of prop it up with a paintbrush or a dowel rod. And next to get a really fun like whipped cream look on the top, you just pour a white candle into like a paper bowl or something disposable and whisk it. You do want it to set there and cool off a little bit until it starts to not look so clear and runny and then just keep whisking it until it really cools off. It'll whip up like real icing, but this is just wax which you are able to burn. I won't burn these because I just feel like they're so cute and decorative and they're going to burn down really fast and be ruined. So I'm just setting these out for decorative purposes, but I use the wax to fill up an icing bag and then just pipe this directly on top of the candle. You can see that this does not have to be perfect. I actually think I let my wax cool off too much. It was kind of hard to shape, but just kind of piped it anywhere that I wanted it, letting that wick go ahead and come up through the middle, stuck down a couple of the little gingerbread men. And then I feel like what really topped this off was just adding some white glitter to the white wax. It just makes it sparkly and hides all the imperfections. And they turn out so adorable. If you had no intentions on burning these, the sky is really the limit. You could add any of the like plastic or fake ornaments to the top to make it look like it had candy in it. Or some of the little resin filler sprinkles on the top would be really cute. But love how these turned out. And I feel like the gingerbread men just really top it off. using the same jar as earlier, but this time I'm pairing it with a nice big label. And for that, I'm using the wall art pieces out of Dollar Tree right now. These are the most gorgeous wall stickers. So they're going to be perfect for large labels like this. And I want to keep up with like the sweets gingerbread theme in this video um, or on several of these projects. So I decided to pick out a really cute one that said something about being sweet on it. I fill this up with about three candles and then a little bit of the remainder of one that I already had melted it down let this completely cool off trim the wick down and then go ahead and apply the wall decal You can see how adorable these stickers are. You could stick a cup of coffee on it or um, cocoa and these little candies and gingerbread. I thought the cookies for Santa was adorable, but I think I'll save that for another project. I ended up applying this May Your Holidays Be Sweet and then went ahead and tied a ribbon around the top. And then I feel like this is the part that made this entire candle so cute was to take one of the gingerbread men and I poked a hole through one of the buttons. I lit up the bag so it made it a little bit melty just with a lighter and it just stuck the wick through the center of this gingerbread man so it was kind of laying in the center of the candle. I think this is absolutely adorable. Like I mentioned, not really going to burn this down. I just think it's really, really cute. I did try to be super careful to take my lighter and just kind of melt it um, down where the hole was at in the center and around the edges but trying not to light that wick up but this looks so cute would also make an incredible gift idea. These little candle holders were too cute to pass up. They're made to stick like a little LED candle inside, I'm guessing, but the design on them were absolutely gorgeous. They're shiny. They look like they have mercury glass, which means any light in them will look so gorgeous whenever it's lit up. But I wanted to go ahead and make these their own candles. I think it would be fun to do like six of these and put them on a centerpiece, like in a row. That would be really pretty. But I just wanted to share with you what it would look like to actually pour candles in these and light them up. The glass on these look so gorgeous so it's a really fun design during the day but also at night. A 
Another fun idea is to grab one of these letter molds. Now, I picked this up at Walmart. It's like a Mod Podge mold, and you can actually fill these up with resin. That's what they're usually made for, but I love to use hot glue in these sometimes to create letters, but you also can put wax in these. So once again, using that same large jar, I go ahead and fill this up to the top, let it cool down, and then I'm gonna try to add on these wax letters. I let the candle completely cool down and then pulled my letters out after they had hardened and I placed them around where I wanted them and then taking a lighter I heated up the bottom of the candle just enough so it was a little bit melty so it would act as glue and hold up my letters. So you can see that I spelled out the word joy, added some fun embellishments as well as bells, and this is a fun, unique candle. I am not going to burn this once again, just love how it looks. If I burn this, I feel like the O would instantly just melt down, as well as half of the other letters, but I feel like it is a super cute, unique project and just one of my favorites. <music> 